Good morning, Funko fam. On today's video, we have a very, very special mystery box. And by that, I actually have 11 special mystery boxes. So why don't you find out what I got after the intro? All right, so on today's mystery box video roundup, or whatever we're gonna call it today, um, we are introducing a uh, first time uh, unboxing. And depending on how, how this goes, this may be broken up into two videos, so stay tuned. And um, it's from a company called Bands for Arms. And I know a lot of folks have spoken very, very highly of them, and I definitely wanted to give them a shot myself. And uh, we, again, have 11. Yes, you heard that right. I have 11 mystery boxes. Uh, we have some ad icons, we have some video games, and we have some Marvel boxes. So, um, as you can see, they have their patented Walmart boxes. And, uh, hey, I'm cool with Walmart boxes. Who cares what it shipped in? I don't care what's, what's inside of it. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and dig into this big old bad boy and see, let's see what we got. Um, oh, before that, uh, I definitely got to say big ups to the homie, Rock and Row. Um, he did send me out some, uh, a little care package here. So let's go ahead and dig in here and see, uh, see what we got. Looks like, uh, looks like we had a little note here. It says, uh, thanks for the support. Perfect. And these were those uh, highly, highly touted new uh, new stickers that he has. And uh, I will say, they're fire. We've got the regular and chase version of Funko Soda from the uh, anointed uh, King of Soda Rock and Roll. Definitely dig this uh, regular, but moreover. The, uh, the holographic uh, infectious disease. It's pretty sick. Uh, also, looks like we have the uh, Chase version of his uh, pandemic version. <laughs> Definitely pretty sweet. And his all too famous Rock and Roulette. So definitely go ahead, check him out. I know he just passed uh, 1K subs and uh, always support the homies. So I'll link his information in the uh, description area below. So definitely make sure you check him out and uh, check out some of his content. It's pretty darn good. And uh, without further, further delay, let's, let's get into this bad boy. So let's see how this is going to go. Let's dig into this bad boy. And as uh, a lot of you guys know, there's been some delays, but hey, you know what? Who cares? You get your items when you get your items. I did reach out to Nick. Um, you know, it had been about, um, about five weeks after he said, uh, just to check in on my order status. And then I got a, an email notification a few days later. I uh, definitely is very communicative and uh, can't complain. So, okay. So it looks like they got them at least marked, which helps me out. Because, yeah, there's a ton in here. All right. So let's kind of stack them as we get them. All right. So we got video game back there. Uh, this one doesn't have a label. This one is a Marvel. Okay, so there's my four Marvels. What is this? Oh, 
Oh, this is kind of cool. So they included, it looks like, a copy of the first, first prototype drawing of the undivided, looks like, bracelet? It's pretty sick. Always dig this kind of stuff. This has to be this. Okay. All right, ladies and germs. So, now that we're already eight minutes <laughs> into this darn thing, um, I think we do, I think we break this up. Um, I think we do, I think we do, all right, I think we do five tonight, and then we film another six on the next one, we break this into two, so that way we try to keep this as short as possible, so let's go ahead and dig into this bad boy and uh, figure this out, so. All right, so we are gonna do the Marvels and one video game. Wish me luck. All righty, folks. We'll let you all see it first. Maybe. No, nope, looks like it is bubble wrap. Okay, so it looks like we got uh, we got Rad Toad from Fallout seventy six. We'll check PVG at the end. Honestly, don't think that's a big hit, but we'll take a look anyways. So now we'll get into the heart of these ones, and those are the ones I really wanted anyways. Uh, Gamer, there were some pretty sick ones, but I don't think there was a lot of super huge ones that I was really after, but I was trying to fill out an order uh, a couple different times, uh, trying to keep even numbers on orders. So since we can't do it like mystery, true mystery box style, we just have to dig in here and go for it. Okay. Ooh, okay. So it looks like on this one, we got the... Glow in the Dark Specialty Series Human Torch, which I don't have any of these. Um, I've got the thing, and that's about it. So, not bad, not bad. This one's got a little bit more weight to it. Maybe this one's a good one. Watch, this is like the thing, and it's just heavy. <laughs> Nope, not the thing, but it is the Hulk from the Avengers. All right, two down, two to go. Come on, B4A, give me some fire here, please.
Okay. This one is Panda Pool. Pretty sick, pretty sick. We'll have to uh, do obviously double check value, but uh, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Last but not least, here we go. Again, super lightweight. I really hoping, hoping we get some some fire here, boys. But um, okay, I saw Toys R Us sticker. Oh, okay. This one, okay. This one might actually have a couple of value. Um, this is the. Toys R Us Gwynpool Marvel 164. Okay, so let's uh let's go ahead and check some values. And um, unfortunately, I don't like using Funko app. It's just too inconsistent. But I know PPG also has had some issues. So So, okay, so this is Gwynpool with phone, and uh, she's nine doll hairs. All right, so next we're going to do Hulk. All right, ladies and germs, we are not starting out well. Okay. Five bones. Not doing well. All right. So next will be the human torch. All right. So uh, human torch, he is worth nine. So as of right now, we're $23. Not doing so hot, boys and girls. Not doing so hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Rad Toad. Okay. Still not coming in with that fire, boys and girls. Okay, Rad Toad is seven. Okay, last but not least is going to be the panda pool. Let's just hope this one's actually got some value. <sighs> wah, wah. Okay, well, can't win them all. It's the best of the bunch, at least. All right, well... So we paid 65, no 64, got 42 back. Definitely not a win. But hey, that happens with mystery boxes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just, uh, we're going to go ahead and knock out this other run. And uh, we're going to see what we ended up getting. But uh, stay tuned for part two of this epic, epic Bands for Arms uh, unboxing ceremony. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this uh, next six have some heat to them. As always, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think so far. And if you haven't already, please, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.